see on kõik, mis siia maani tehtud on, kulutatud selle jaoks, ma ei tea, võibolla isegi peaks ütlema raisatud on, sada miljonit dollarit. Hmm? See on nüüd uudne aisalik. Aga siin on kaks tükki, mida valida. Aisalik ja siuke... Iga või siuke, siuke ikka... Siia saab, jah? Õõõ, sõna ka, nüüd on kaks. Vaata, ma vaatan siin ka ära ööö. Hmm? Tebe ühe veel! Tebe veel! Vaatame seal koha peal! The two of us here in Utah from Estonia and we are trying to find out whether Estonian energy together with Enefit are telling us the truth or not about spending or wasting 100 million I was trying to say 100,000, no, it's 100 million dollars taxpayers money by the way because this energy, Estonian energy belongs to the state and so we are all, all the citizens, its shareholders. And mm, this, what we found here is beyond any expectations because we at least thought that Estonian energy together with NFIT, which are one of the same thing actually, they have l at least some some mining or uh, have done something, some scientific research in order to find out whether they can get any profit from it or not. But this we see here is beyond any expectations because it's like a playground for children. And maybe it's, I don't know whether it's deliberately done or it's not, but maybe it's here because nobody would ever come here, nobody would find it and it would be easier for our politicians and and our ministers to keep telling f fairy tales to the people. One, one of uh, the basic advantages of our oil shale production in Estonia is that we have um, limitless resources of water. Nobody pays for the water actually. If, if, if the payment is, it's so small, you it don't even notice it. And um, you need water for oil shale industry, it's, we, we know it for sure. As we do have limitless access to water, nobody pays attention to that. But what I've seen here, it's desert here. And I haven't seen a written proof on that, that any of those NF, NFIT people have even applied for um, a license for water resources. I don't know how it's called, but they don't have water. Without water, it would it's most clearly impossible to mine or to produce any oil here. So I don't know whether they whether they lie or tell the untruth or not truth or I don't know, but it seems to me impossible because there are some other things also. Because in Estonia you have limitless uh, manpower, low paid, which is impossible here. Uh, we don't have any... What does low pay mean? Well, let's say when a pension in Estonia is about um, four hundred dollars per month, and mine mine workers get uh, dollars, let's say eight hundred, um, nine hundred, something like that, minus taxes. You you won't find any any uh, any this kind of people here, and we do have almost zero waste taxes zero excavation taxes all the taxes you have here and definitely we don't have any authorized licenses which would be impossible to manage here you, you do have to have licenses you have to your paperwork done at home which we don't have and it seems to me that your people won't agree to uh, all this pollution and all this I don't I don't really believe that any of this excavation will come to truth here. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, you would see here, uh, not mountains like that, because uh, there's some greenery growing on that, but uh, what you would see is an ash mountains, w which would not be covered with snow, because they're burning for ages, they will be burning for ages. We do have the problem with all this contamination coming out of that and, and, and so on, because we call it nature, you, you can be proud of the scenery here, because it's beautiful, far beyond my expectations, 
<laughs> which I have seen only on photographs and postcards, but it would be <laughs> you would you would never accept that you you're gonna see here. It's and ash mountains. Can you imagine ash, 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 ashes on ashes, and all this is pumped via tubes with water up and up and up. It comes down, it goes up and up and up again. We have it. We let's say we have those fields and mountains on Estonia, although it's very, very small, but it's my home. And let's say there's about 10% of the whole land that could be used for agriculture, I don't know, just for the scenery, for people to live. It's absolutely wasteland. It's even, even they, they do have those gates. You can't even have the access there. And though there's one use, for those mountains now, because uh, Estonian soldiers who go to Afghanistan have the perfect battlefield, battlefield just to, to train there. I see. That's good. 